the first question is there on your screen the a businessman marked the price of his goods 40 percentage more than his cost price he then sells one fourth of his stocks at a discount of 20 percentage and half of the stock at the marked price and the rest at a discount of 60 percentage find the gain percentage so uh, here uh, see to solve this question the best way to do it would be to take in values right assume that actual cost price of the goods is 100 rupees and then try to solve when you do it this way the calculations become easier instead of taking uh, if the cost price is x rupees the marked price is x into 140 by 100 instead of that here they have just asked you for the gain percentage so consider that the cost price is 100 and solve so what uh, what is given here a businessman marked the price of goods 40 percentage more than the cost price so 40 percentage more, more means what is the marked price see if the actual cost of the articles was 100 rupees the marked price was 140 that because he has marked the goods at 40 percentage more than the cost price now what is he doing he is selling one fourth of his stock at a discount of 20 percentage so now in this so this is the marked price of these goods out of these goods one fourth of the goods he is selling it at a discount of 20 percentage so one fourth goods what is he doing which is actually costing how much is the actual marked price of these one fourth goods it is nothing but one by four into 140 correct he is selling this for a discount of 20 percentage that means he is selling it for 80 percentage of its marked price correct discount of 20 percentage means 80 percentage of the marked price so this is the price at which he is selling the selling one fourth of the goods now then what is he doing he is telling half of the stock at the marked price so half of the stocks right half of the goods he is selling it for marked price means what is the marked price of half of the goods 140 divided by 2 so he is selling it for that rupees only that amount only 140 by now see how much has he sold till now he has sold one fourth of the goods and half of the goods so how much is remaining the remaining one fourth of the goods is there see if the total goods i take it as one right one fourth he is selling it for 20 percentage discount half he is selling it at the marked price and the remaining one fourth right that he is selling at a discount of 16 percentage so this one by fourth of again 140 right that is the marked price so one fourth of this he is selling it at a discount of 20 percentage or i can say he is selling it at 40 percentage of its value right so basically i have tried to find out what is the selling price of the full goods right e each part of the good he is selling it at different prices so just uh, calculate this and find it out that's all see again here if you take 80 by 100 as 4 by 5 calculations become easier so you get one fourth of the goods he is selling it for 140 by 5 or he is selling it for 28 rupees here he is selling half of the goods for 140 by 2 or that is 70 rupees here uh, what is he doing he is selling one fourth of the goods at 40 percentage of its value so again you can cancel out here so he is selling it for 14 rupees so his total selling price is nothing but 70 plus 28 plus 14 so what is his total selling price his total selling price is equal to 28 plus 70 plus 14 that is equal to 112 so goods which are actually worth 100 rupees he is finally selling it for 112 rupees what is his profit percentage his profit percentage is 12 percentage that is option d okay so this is how you solve this question so only thing uh, see don't write each and every step like how i have written since i am explaining i am writing all this for you you can uh, again uh, you can you needn't write these steps just write the only the steps that are required like these steps that are required and find out the answer also here if you try to if you convert these percentages into fractions calculations become easier yes this particular question that's what you need to do and most importantly take values right don't take x and uh, cost price as x and try to solve if you put in values it will become easier to solve